I am petrified of this fight. It feels like David and Goliath. It makes me really angry. I'm not allowed to live in the one place in the UK that I wanted to live. Ty's lived in the St Phillips area of Bristol for three and a half years. She moved to Bristol from Cornwall for its music scene and stayed for her dream job as a sales and marketing manager at an escape room. The landlord is wanting to put you on a new six-month contract with a high rent of £750. That's a 66.6% .6 increase in what I'm already paying, which is £450 a month. To me, that's not a rent increase, that's a coveted eviction. Ty needs to send her reply within five days, so she's playing it safe and taking it directly to the letting agent. Yeah, the gate's locked now. So two days are the days that I had to reply to this. They're not even open and I can't drop it in. Sorry to bother you. I'm trying to deliver a letter. Do you know if I can get on to the property at all? If you want, you can leave with us and mm. then we give to them tomorrow. That would be very to... kind. Yes. Thank you yeah. so much. No I really worries. appreciate your help. With the proposed rent out of Ty's reach, she's worried about her future. So I'm looking at homelessness right before Christmas. And four days ago, I had absolutely no idea this was happening. It's eight days since Ty wrote to her landlord, rejecting her second rent increase in six months, which the landlord says would bring her rent in line with market rates. And after a 12-hour shift, she's off home to see if she's got a reply. So, I mean, if it doesn't come today, it's just going to start getting ridiculous. You got it? Mm-hmm. That's the one. Let's see what they've said. Dear Taisa, we have been instructed by the landlord to carry out a review of your rent you are currently paying. Following the review and assessment of the current rental market, increased mortgage and maintenance costs, a decision has been made to serve notice to increase the rent you are currently paying, which is what I was expecting. The new amount of 750 will be payable from March 15th. So they backtracked slightly there. So my punt at them not being able to do this till March was correct. I'm proud of the fact that I've fought this, and because I've stepped up and shouted, they've heard me, and because of the way that I've behaved, they're now acting by law. So that's... It's a mixture of good news and bad news. I can breathe easy now till March, and then the fight will be, I'm not paying that much, basically. At the moment, I'm being so frugal that there's nothing I can really cut. I rarely go out, I rarely do anything. I don't put on the heating. Um, I really think about it, whether, I, whether or not I need to use the oven that evening. Um, I usually eat one or two meals a day. And there's been several instances where I've had to turn to my mum and say, I don't have any money this month. And she's given me 20 pounds so I can buy some vegetables and fruit, some milk and bread, so I can eat for the week. So there's no way I could afford an extra 300 pound a month. She has no legal leg to stand on to resist her rent rise, so she's fighting back with the help of a community union who campaign on behalf of their members. I'm going to go meet my union and some friends and we're going to go and march on my lettings agent. <laughs> Ty has prepared a statement that she's agreed to read to her agents. I am standing here in front of you today, not just for me, but also for the people that don't have a voice, as there are countless other people in my situation. I've proposed a high rent increase of 11% in line with inflation, which has been completely denied. I want to be heard. I'm very, very nervous, extremely nervous. This is the only thing I have left to do. It's the last card in my hand, and I'm trying to play it now. And we'll see, we'll see where it goes, really, where the chips fall, because we don't really know what's going to happen. I'm glad that there's a lot of people, loads of people behind me. Yeah, it's a little bit overwhelming. The tenants united will never be defeated. It's time for Ty to go into the letting agents to read out her statement. So I stood there and I read directly to my letting agent, Tracy, my statement to her face, looking her in the eye, and they listened, and then we left. It's hard work, really hard work. <laughs> yeah, you did really well reading that out, so they got actually to hear you and your personal. Oh, thank you. Thank you.
I cast my mind back to when I got that letter, there was no way in hell I'd think I'd ever be standing here today, like pushing back as hard as I can. You know, I thought that that was it, I was completely powerless, and I was powerless until my friend stood behind me. To me, it's like on to the next thing now. But at least I haven't got to go and do that again, because that was probably one of the fr most frightening things I've ever had to do. Nice one, everyone. Well done. Even if I end up homeless by the end of this, at least I pushed as hard as I could. It's just over a week since Ty protested with her community group at the agents. They've continued to use direct action, including making hundreds of calls a day to their office. The agents said it caused them to feel harassed, and they notified the police. Because of this direct action, which they don't like, it's also making me feel really uncomfortable as well, but I just feel like I've got no option. It's the only card in my deck. That's all I've got left now. I have to play it, I'm gonna play it, and suffer the consequences, which I already am. It will be warm by the time we stand up, right? After weeks of direct action against her landlord via a community group, Ty has changed tactics and got in touch with the landlord herself. Basically, I decided to contact the landlord directly and said to him, will you give me an extra three months in the property at the same price so I can find somewhere to live that would pre prevent my imminent homelessness? Um, and he came back and said, no, I'll give it to you for an extra £150 a month. Um, and I said, I can't afford that. So I said, I'll give you an extra £50 a month. And he said, yeah, you can have it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, am I? <laughs> Congratulations. What a crazy few months? Eh? Yeah. So what are you going to do with three months? What can you do with three months? Well, I'm already manically looking for somebody, somewhere to stay. But uh, my boss has said that I can work from home for a period of time. But you'd have to move back to Cornwall. And do it remotely for a period of time. Which I know. Is grim. I know. But to get an extra three months in the property was, was like one of the last things I wanted as well. So yeah. it's a win, you okay. know? We've got yeah. what we wanted. Yes. yes. Cheers.